Steam Master. Hi everyone, Steam Master here with a brief review of the MISC Freelancer MIS. The MIS, or MIS, is a military version of the regular Freelancer series, and is technically a missile boat and gunship. It still has the usual Freelancer 4 seats, 4 beds with escape pods, mini kitchen and bathroom for a crew of up to 4, as well as the side airlock. It still has the limited cockpit visibility like other Freelancers. The MIS has less cargo than the standard Freelancer, but makes up for it with special auto-loading missile launchers in the roof that can spit out a ton of missiles, as well as the wing-mounted missiles. It has 40 size 3 missiles that are launched from the top size 5 launchers, as well as 4 size 4 missile mounts on the wings, with 8 size 3 missiles by default. It has 2 size 5 gun mounts on each side of the ship, each with a dual size 3 laser cannons by default. There is also the usual rear turret that has two size 2 guns on it too. For defense, it still has two size 2 shields like other freelancers, but these are the higher quality combat shields rather than the normal civilian style. It also has two size 2 hydrogen fuel tanks and one size 2 quantum tank and drive. Combat speed is the usual 154 meters a second and max speed is 1005 meters a second, just like the other freelancers. The Freelancer Miss goes for $175 on the website, only on time-limited sales, or you can buy it in-game for 2.5 million UEC. You cannot currently rent the Freelancer Miss. The Miss has a current cargo capacity of 36 SCU. There is a little cargo space in the airlock room with the upper hatch, and then there's a spot in between for the missile loading system. The loading system takes up some of the cargo space. The reduced cargo in the back is just enough to carry ammo, food and fuel for extended journeys or some small ground vehicles, most likely hover vehicles or a small mining vehicle. The MIS comes with a military style olive green color scheme, but you can still apply any freelancer paints to it as well. The purpose of the MIS is generally to stand back and pepper medium and larger ships with missiles from a distance. While the MIS has decent guns and shields, it's best not to allow it to get too close to fighters as the two size 2 shields won't last long against many ships. It might be fast enough to dodge weapon fire from capital ships with slower guns, but you'll have to dodge a lot. Remember, size 3 missiles have a long range, but small ships can often dodge them. They are not super maneuverable, so they are better against less agile medium ships and above. Also, size 3 missiles have a longer minimum range than smaller missiles. So if you get too close to a target, you won't be able to launch, so keep your distance. The MIS can also be used as a gunship to strike ground targets, or immobile space targets very effectively. The many auto-loading missiles are great, but keep in mind they launch from the top, so you'll have to aim lower if you are attacking ground targets. Freelancers have enough fuel that this ship would also be great for ship escorts and convoy duty. Combine missile boats with some light fighters and you should be able to defend any ship. You might have to adjust the quantum drive for a more efficient one if you plan on traveling very long range. Orgs could also use the MIS to great use as escort ships for their civilian convoys or attack space or land-based spaces. Alright, that's it for the MISC Freelancer MISC. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to get more videos. If you're new to Star Citizen, you can use my referral code to get an extra 5000 credits in game. Let me know if you want me to review a particular ship or item. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.